making noise while I got a video on and I don't have the flashing light that says, hey, hey, we're doing a video here. Quit making noise. Just keep on making that noise, Joey. get started on trimming the fat yes even this one has fat on it we're trimming the fat I'm gonna take the entire old pan half off including this leg here we're gonna take all these off all the spot welds pull them off we're gonna keep these legs here I don't know if you see that this leg that's a reinforcement leg, we're gonna keep that. And uh, this is this chassis is getting shortened by, I don't know, 15 and a half inches.
This is uh, the frame that we're building for uh, kind of like a Manx style chassis. We're gonna shorten it 14 inches. And um, I'll show you a picture of the build that we're doing here. But he has requested that we move the shifter back 10 inches. And because I'm OCD, we can do about nine inches and we can keep the shapes of the chassis. So as you can see, there's kind of like a, a, a hill here, kind of sweeps, and then there's a bump here. I wanna keep this, because it, it the factory look. So what the, the plan is, so we're gonna move it. He wanted it here, which is 10 inches. But since this is here, the spacing is three inches. I want to keep this radius here and the three inches would put it the center of it here. So he's okay with that. Um, so we're actually going to, uh, this is all just kind of preliminary, but we're, we're going to cut this top off. Then we're going to cut this top off. We're going to take this piece, move it over here, this piece over here. And now we have a factory looking, um, shifter relocation and this will give him the position because his seats are way back here and since we're gonna cut 14 inches out right here and so I wanted to keep the shape here and so cutting it here and coming back here will allow this round to be to be here and and once again I'm I can't just cut it and then weld it together and smooth it out. Like I can't do it. Like I have to do it and think it out. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut that section out later. We're gonna do this first. We're gonna catch it on film. Then we're going to peel off the bottom, take it out. And since we're shortening this, we're actually going to build a thick quarter inch plate that water jets out and that's gonna replace the bottom piece that's like maybe 16 gauge so we're going to create some stiffness and then we can uh, then do our cuts and it'll be clean and easy and then we can get our frame jig for this to, to slide back and forth and uh, we'll have this clamp down we'll have this slide back clamp down do our welds and keep it straight um, and uh, yeah, we'll probably do some holes on the sides, put a plate on the inside to plug weld and stiffen that joint as well. Um, not No butt joints here. So we'll start on that. seven and a half inch uh, rectangle piece. We're gonna cut this piece out and we're gonna move it so it's going to line up with this edge back here, put it on top, kind of mark the same square, cut that piece out, move this piece over here, this piece over there, and we're gonna do that now.
right, so we have uh, these kind of blended in. Uh, I'd say nine out of 10 right now. We're still going to do finish sanding before we get take it to powder coat. But uh, all the curves are there if you see. Got a couple little pieces to fill in, but it turned out real good. So the transition looks good here. Looks like it belongs there. That's what we're going after. So we're gonna show you what we did on this jig. Built this jig to basically pin the chassis down and then uh, be able to shorten the chassis and then slide it into place. So we got these little uh, triangular jacks, I'm gonna call them, um, that are actually going to uh, level out the car, uh, excuse me, the car, the chassis or the frame. And then we uh, drilled, and, drilled and tapped here and we have just the upper ones, uh, upper ones in place so that we could put a link pin pan on here as well. So we're not making the spread the same. So that's the idea. We'll see what happens later. Might have to make some adjustments. And then we made these little sliders here so it can slide and then it can clamp right here, clamp. Let me see if I change the view, boom. So it'll clamp here and it takes the frame horns and this is setting right directly on the frame horns and then it's bolted in and then it's touching here and here. So now we can basically slide it forward once we cut it and then we'll just put the clamps on it to clamp it in space, space, clamp it in place bottle jacks back here and we made these little cups here so that the, the uh, triangular jack will actually sit in it and uh, not rock and we still have to do uh, them on the bottom but we have to flip it first so I wanted to kind of get some preliminary welding done and finishing because that's my jam I love it uh, happy with where we're at and uh, We'll flip it and uh, continue on to the bottom and cutting out the, the bottom section. Hey guys, I wanna tell you about the promotion. We're continuing in 2021 and that's giving away one of these Ultima Beams to one of our subscribers who likes and comments on our videos. Uh, once we hit 10K, uh, we're at this number right here right now. Uh, once we're at 10K, then we're going to randomly select a, a subscriber and make sure they've commented on one of the videos. And we're going to give it away for your Type 1 Beetle, Gia, Type 3 thing. Uh, that's what we're going to do. One of those bad boys right there. And you could be it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Now back to the film. <laughs> 